especially if you live in a cold climate, what happens to our skin in the winter? Well, the skin really likes consistency. So when the weather changes, it can really wreak havoc with our skin, like you were saying. And one of the big things is when the humidity lowers, when the temperature drops, is the water evaporates from our skin and our skin dries out. And when our skin dries out, it's no longer a great barrier to the environment. So it's more prone to inflammation and irritation. And we see this like in this picture here, where you see dryness, especially around the lips and the nose. You see redness, which is signs of irritation, inflammation, and you see breakouts, which can happen year round, but can be especially problematic in the winter. Because your skin is extra kind of raw. Extra kind of raw, and exactly. Yeah. So, you know, why does our skin become dry in the winter? People ask me that all the time, and I'm seeing tons of people right now with itchy, dry skin. And the and real- And flaky. And it's flaky, yeah. yeah. And that's really this top layer. So what happens in this model is that our skin, the water evaporates because the humidity is very low in the environment. And so the water leaves our skin to try to go to the environment, but then that desiccates the skin layers to give you that dry, itchy skin on the surface. So we're gonna talk about how to stop that evaporation. A lot of people in the winter wanna jump into a nice warm shower and spend hours in there, they don't wanna get out, but that's the worst thing you can do for your skin because that's gonna make- You're supposed to take cold take showers Take a tepid, cold warm, short shower just to try to reduce that hydration. And then when your skin is still wet, you wanna try to apply moisturizers to seal in. The moisture in our skin just evaporates, you know, when it's cold outside, and especially when you're in that hot shower and so what moisturizers do is they add more water to it and then they seal it in and that's the most important thing that there's hydrators and sealants and moisturizers what you want to do when you get out of the shower is you got about 60 seconds to just pat off quickly and you're gonna apply a really great lotion this is one that has ceramides and, and uh, glycerin and hyaluronic acid in it and that's you're gonna put that everywhere to seal in the water and then the other thing that's super important is that nighttime is the bomb so this is the bomb you want to use at nighttime and I leave this next to my bedside and I put it on my fingernails I put it on my lips right before I go to sleep and you're looking for ingredients like lanolin and glycerin and you want it goopy and greasy and then don't forget you have to exfoliate you know even but you can't use harsh things you gotta you're, get the dead off. you gotta get the dead off right. before you can get the water in and you don't want to exfoliate with scrubs and acids this time of year because that can be too irritating and drying yeah but do you know what these are no but I'm Micro, gonna take one <laughs> They're microfiber washcloths. Like you buff your car. Yeah, like you buff your car, clean your house. And but these are like extra gentle versions <laughs> that you can use just once a day in the shower on your face and your body, and that's enough exfoliation for the winter. And then don't, also don't forget you want to stay hydrated in the winter and you want to hydrate your environment. If you have the humidifier on, you gotta make sure you fill it and wash it. And right. then keep water next to your bedside table and drink water frequently because I drink about a liter a night and a liter yeah, when you go to the gym. Yeah, if your nasal patches passages dry out, if your throat dries out, you're going to be more susceptible to colds. Mm -hmm. gotcha. yeah. The next problem, so if your skin is dry, it's then going to be more prone to irritation and, and inflammation, and that shows up as redness. So a lot of patients come in the office and they say, I don't know why I have red hands, red elbows, red around my mouth. Um, those are signs of inflammation. And how do we combat inflammation is we look for ingredients that help to just calm the skin. So not only are the moisturizers are important, but inflammation ingredients like calendula and feverfew that are found in moisturizers all over the country, those are good ones to use. And then, you know, the other problem I see in my office and patients come up all the time and say, why do I still get breakouts in the winter? And with that dry season, your skin's kind of working overtime to create more oil, but that more oil causes more breakouts. Right, 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 because the pores get Yeah, the clogged. pores get clogged. Right. And then how do you treat them? Because sometimes the acne treatments are more, uh, are more irritating as well. So it's really important to have a stepwise treatment, and that's what we have here. You want to use a gentle cleanser on your acne-prone skin. And and then I always say on clean skin is when you apply your acne treatment. And this one's Adapalene, it's one of my favorites. You apply a very thin layer, mostly in the middle of your face where mm -hmm. the breakouts will be. And then a hydrating uh, serum and then an oil-free uh, moisturizer on top of that. And so that's, that's like what you really do a four-step process. Morning and night, yep. morning and night for, and that will help control the and breakouts. And never sleep with dirty skin. No, no, you yeah. gotta take off the makeup, the oil and all those things every single day. Yeah. Final tips? The final tip is like, don't forget that sun damage happens all year round. That's right. You know me, I love yeah. a high SPF. Yes, and it's also a good time to treat sun damage because people aren't in the sun as much. Oh, and you don't so, think about that. Yeah, yeah, so it's a good time to try to fade those sunspots, treat the wrinkles, but also get into a good skin routine for summer by wearing that SPF 30 every single day.